Hi Iris. Tuesday with temperance. Temperance is more balanced, okay, and goes very well after the tower, okay, after this disruption, um, difficulties, difficult conversation, bring up something which is unpleasant because you hate to, you, you couldn't go anymore like this. Now this is a beautiful following energy. Now it's balanced, now it's fine, now conversation comes a bit more balanced. Now you do have right words, another person as well. Now let's talk about what has happened. This had to go away. Temperance says, let's talk nice, let's see how we're gonna move forward. Temperance is definitely moving forward, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna pair it first. It's a major kind of yet another major kind of yeah It seems it's not gonna be easy. This will reflect on your Monday definitely these two together After some turbulent day something which you know you hate to go through It's great to have these two together because this energy is wise. Okay understanding the process It's not in one day that you can now clear it up you know, this something which you build with the time, with the relationship or, your, or something within your character, your habits, your routine, you see what I'm saying? Something you were not satisfied with, you wanted to clear up, to get rid of. Okay, now on Monday, somehow you did it abruptly. This is abrupt change, which suits you. No diplomacy at all. You hate to do it, just that sort of feeling. But this is much more diplomatic, much more understanding energy, very balanced energy, understanding that things will, get right with time it's all about wisdom about understanding understanding yourself understanding circumstances around you another person particularly where they are standing on um, with this problem with the situation with the future with something what is their point of view what do you think about might look a slight danger with these two okay to get overboard with your emotional approach towards this what is happening these two days or being just to elaborate you were now thinking the best about another one you know like like you are sacrificing yourself for another one another one the same way talks about no 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 if it's good for you i understand now you on another side it might go a bit too much back and forth okay like you're sacrificing something of yourself for another one another one as well will do the same for you <laughs> trying to make it now perfect and trying a bit too hard but still it's a better okay it's a better day it's more harmonious balanced day full of understanding even if you go overboard with that or oh, understand what you feel about that maybe going overboard with all of it still it's a good day it's a perfect day to sort out problem this is a problem which appeared here on Monday and problem which you know cannot be really fixed with the tower we don't fix the problem okay we destroy it and we move on with our lives we begin to build something else but that what was is destroyed some problem appeared in in the situation which lasted that is all about this tower so that situation completely disappeared the relationship with another um, in the office or something in your life you are destroying it's not in your life anymore and this is solution for two of you how to accept it this is how to accept it and it's accepted with grace okay this tuesday whatever that happens on monday is accepted with grace on tuesday whether that is just about you or there's other people included could also be uh, anyhow it's accepted hi taurus and this is tuesday with the tower unpleasant very unpleasant the tower is um, something you worked um, towards you worked with okay something you build a relationship you're building with another business you are building you see what I'm saying employment or some something which lasted and now today you have decided or things happen usually particularly outer energy usually is not your decision usually is your indecisiveness if you made decision that this is not good and you saw it that is not good if you made decision to change it when time was right you wouldn't have this tuesday okay tower is abrupt it happens on its own because it has to happen it takes you nowhere 
relationship or business or something, let me just spare it. Yeah, it's some some career, some employment. You might decide to change some some way of doing your car and business. Maybe some employment. Okay, if you were employed, maybe you're going to decide to change. But then you do have offer. Perhaps you do have offer already to change, to use the very same skill, okay, um, just perhaps for uh, better pay or something. Um, perhaps a resignation on this day because of this Monday, because of this opportunity. Um, maybe you have decided to do business on your own. And you have started already. Now you see, first results are here. You are certain, you are very confident, okay, that you can make this business thrive. This business which you have started, which began to give some results, will stay. That your that what you will continue with. That will secure your life. You need to continue and invest in this from Monday, okay? So on Tuesday, you will resign, you will destroy, you will move away from, clear up the space simply for you to do something else. Maybe you're going to do, you're going to use your skill just in a different way, but this is about business, this is about career, about your skill, about your profession. You will be doing something else. Whether employment, a different place, to leave the company, employment which you did have, to change for another one, for uh, your private business, to maybe do your skill work, your profession in a different way. This way, as you used to do it, it doesn't give results, it doesn't bring results, it brings basic. Now, you have to change it. Changing your business, the way how you do your business, how you conduct yourself, how you make money with that skill. You're not changing your skill, you're not changing your profession, but you're changing the way how you earn with that profession, with that skill. You see what I'm saying? Could very well be something like that here, Monday, Tuesday, but very, very important days, okay? It will change something in your profession, in your way, how you make your money, your employment, maybe your private business. You are changing the way how you conduct your business, you conduct yourself in your business. But that's your Monday and Tuesday. Hey Gemini. The world on Tuesday, completion of some sort, some barriers, some limitations, some period of time, usually with the world energy, some period of time is finishing let me just spare it major can it's difficult to read specifically unless you have <laughs> another one um and yeah um king of cups is pairing the world it might actually be just that what i told you about time time passage um, period of time, prolonged period of time, from to working somewhere, studying something, saving um, something, okay, working on something which you can use, okay, you worked on something which you can use, because this energy is normally, not just completion, but the beginning for something else. Kind of this last five years, you were studying, you learned second language, or you did have some sort of experience in that business, in that career. Now, finally, you see yourself ready to complete with that, to complete with these studies, and to start something else. You were saving money, living your life in a very limiting life, very limiting spending, okay, because you wanted to save as much as possible. Now, finally, you said, I've got that amount of money which I wanted to have within these five years. I saved what I, what I wanted to save. Now, I can invest. You can invest now. You can do that what you um, wanted at first place. This is purpose, okay? Within this period of time, you did have purpose, what you're going to do after it, okay? And you are having it now. You've got good choice. As I said, this um, world energy, very Saturnian, okay? Limitations. you limiting yourself. I, I have to have a stoic approach to my life, to work a lot, to make as much as possible so I can invest to make my life secure. You see what I'm saying? Something like that. And this is finally completed. The whole debt period, that what you wanted to save, you've got. You, want, you wanted to complete these studies. You've got it. You have completed. Successful completion, which is now solid starting point 
that's your investment into your future whether that you were saving or you were studying something is completed which is as i said solid um, fertile medium for your future growth you you're just very happy with yourself you are happy how you have completed that what you did put in front of yourself and it wasn't perhaps easy you did have a lots of limitations you limited yourself it was maybe hard work um, included but you were happy how you have completed how you have done how you acted this within this period of time okay with okay all these limitations within these boundaries within your abilities within you see some some boundaries that were definitely they always always some boundaries world energy does have that kind of limitations which we all face and uh, within all that limitations and boundaries, you've done it the best way possible. Now you can invest, you can choose what you're going to do with that, what you have right now. I kind of feel that some period of time, okay, where you invested yourself into, okay, into something, into some study, some business, something which is supposed to be now useful for you, which you can use now for your further growth. So that's what you have. You've got that useful thing created, uh, saved, um, made or, or whatever, learned. <laughs> You've got that useful thing. You have completed it. You can work with it now. Hi, Cancer. Justice, Tuesday. Look, major arcana, decision-making, something legal, something official, um, something which is related to lawyers, to some court case, perhaps. Um, something which is just and fair is delivered today. Decision is made today. Ace of Wands, oh, so beautiful. Okay, something is definitely completed here. <laughs> Something you worked for. As I said, this is the reason why you took this obligation. Something you worked for finally will begin to happen. This is a very fair energy. You worked for this. You worked hard for this. You made a decision. You were diligent and you have completed it just as you're supposed to. And this is what you get. Decision is there. Change is there. Sort of karmic decision. Deserved. Things you deserve because you worked hard. You wanted this on this day. This opens door. I mean, this is Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. I mean, we were talking something you really love in front of yourself, something which is prosperous. On these two days, you do feel like a child. You are expecting miracles. You are expecting something, something. I mean, this is burning bright in your mind from now. Oh, this is prosperous. This is great. This will bring me money. This will make me happy. This is something. Okay, this is Ace of Wands creative energy out there you are feeling it within yourself you are beginning to create something new for yourself something which you love not just burden endure carry it do it now something which you love finally <laughs> you see what i'm saying you deserve this something this new life this new opportunity this is something prosperous this is something which you really love you're passionate about yeah you deserve that now is beginning you worked hard for this. Really, Cancer, you worked hard for this. And you got it here on a Tuesday. Finally, decision is final. Justice makes final decision. You cannot, you cannot go against this. It cannot be different than this, what is on this day. And you are loving it. Okay, that's what is most important. A beautiful Tuesday. Hi, Leo. Anyway, beautiful star energy on Tuesday. It's hopes, dreams, expectations, new goals. Oh, the tower is pairing um, your star on Tuesday. Oh, it seems it wasn't just any difficulties. It was a really difficult time for you. Maybe, maybe lots of work for you physically, okay? But Tower suggests that it was really, really difficult. I mean, your world was crumbling around you. 
um, that that much difficult it was. And it seems to me this Monday, this person, somebody helped you. This help, uh, this help uh, came either unexpectedly or you begged for that. Okay, two different uh, options here, extreme. Okay, begging because you're desperate or somebody influential, powerful, so that you are in sort of trouble. Helped you willingly could go two ways. But anyway, your problem is solved. But big problem. It was big problem for you. It's solved now. Now, the star energy might talk that you begin that recovery process, okay, and you are so looking forward, okay, to that which will now follow since you don't have this huge problem, this huge work, okay, you don't have it anymore, okay, now you so optimistic about what future holds for you now since you've got, since you don't have this anymore in your life, oh, it's going to be so bright and shiny, there is this north star shining on you, waiting for you, or so, Leo, Look, slight warning with this two, always, you know, this is too extreme energies, too powerful energies. Uh, if you were coming out after these sort of difficulties and you have this such excitement, these hopes for your new life, beware of overreacting, overstretching, um, over dreaming your future, okay? Maybe too much of excitement, too big expectations are not really working well for you. Um, maybe yes, maybe not, but just have it in mind about too much of expectations, not because it's realistically, you've got facts, it is really that's going to happen, or just because it's so much of relief because you don't have these difficulties that everything now looks so rosy because you don't have these difficult things in your life. So just be aware of that situation. Maybe you can try to balance your expectations, balance yourself, not to over-exaggerate your expectations on this day, on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, um, it's important that things are getting better, that's for sure. Let's just look at on the positive side of this. Hi Virgo. Four of Cups, Tuesday. Um, sort of nagging energy, not really, kind of, nah, I don't like, I don't see, I'm not sure, let me think, you see what I'm saying, there is something surely out there, but um, I kind of felt this energy very strong when you were emperor in your life powerful, very powerful energy within you, controlling yourself, controlling your life, where you're going, what is going to be, what is going to happen, you see what I'm saying, business, career, doesn't matter, now on Tuesday, something is on offer, something is around you, but this is more emotional, this is more what it feels like, okay, if somebody offers you a job, if somebody offers you love, or invites you on a date, or something is, somebody invites themselves to visit you, you see what I'm saying, Something is out there, present, on offer, but you're kind of not happy. No, not, not happy at all with that what you have today. Um, I mean, I think you're not happy because you're having it today. Because you didn't want to even think about any of sort of offers today. Not even to go on a date. Today is not suitable time for you. This isn't time for you. That, that's all about. Tuesday wasn't time for you to get invited, to go on a date, to do whatever. It was just not a good time for you. And you will, you'll ignore it. I mean, definitely you will think about it. Four of Swords is thinking about it. I mean, not talking about it, God forbid, accepting on this day. No, never. You will surely uh, acknowledge, as I said, and you will think about that, what is happening on this day, what is around you on this day. As I said, it's emotional offer, even if it's offer for, for job, for career, for something, for business, it will be, what would you feel if I ask you to do this? Okay, what would you feel with this business, with this job, in this career, what would you feel there? In that sense, is offer, but you don't want to feel anything about it. Definitely, you will say nothing. You will keep quiet. You will stay distant. Let me think. Tomorrow, I'll tell you tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Give me some time. In that sense, this Tuesday. 
a Libra. Three of Cups, Tuesday. It's a celebration. <laughs> okay, bad celebration. You will surely speak with your people. You will celebrate with your people. This is your crowd. Maybe your sisters. Maybe your friends like sisters, okay? Maybe your bodies or, I don't know, your crowd, people you are going out with, people you call for your birthday, okay? People you call to show them your new dress or your new suit. You see what I'm saying? That sort of crowd with a three of cups and ace of, um, pardon me, eight of swords is energy within you. You are freeing yourself. Look at this too within you. You are freeing yourself. You were stuck with something nearly dead or dead but not replaced. You see what I'm saying? You were in the process of transition and you were stuck perhaps for a while in that transitioning process. You knew something else is about to begin, this new job you or, or some career or something is about to begin. At least you felt it if it's not that you were signing for it but that there was something surely which you're supposed to transition yourself into you yourself your character your persona or your career your business your relationship but you know you are not showing sadness you are not troubled okay at all at contrary you're looking forward to this new life to this something which supposed to replace that what you have. You are stuck in this transitioning period, but it will be over. You do understand. Now on Tuesday, you will understand it will be over very soon. You are not seeing it clearly exactly date. It's going to be over by Friday. No, you don't know that yet, but you know it's going to be over. You are transitioning yourself and you are looking forward, so looking forward to that which will follow. You will definitely free yourself. Being stuck in this, as I said, transitioning period. But you are not troubled because of that. There is no sadness, there is no problem out there. Hi Scorpio. Anyway, um, four of a wands, you Tuesday. Rather stable energy, okay? Might be some sort of celebration which you are planning or you're supposed to go somewhere, maybe birthday party, some anniversary or something like that. Maybe some, some sort of stability which you got right now. You've been working on something, okay, you started from scratch, from the beginning and first phase kind of is done now. Maybe something like that. In that sense, goes very well with this Monday, first phase, successfully completed. From here, you can go further, but um, for now, so far, so good. It's worth celebrating that successful beginning. In that sense, perhaps could be taken as well. This four of wands is paired, though, with the star. Yeah, that's what it is. Look, that's what it is because we are seeing this gate. This portal which is opening in front, that is first stability, first phase done successfully, but that is opening big opportunity for you to carry on, to continue to make much bigger success. This isn't your end goal. End goal is here, okay, with this star energy. Still, you are not reaching, but you will go after it with time, perhaps, with hard work, but you will surely go for it. You will see great opportunity for for yourself to go for something much much bigger than that what you have right now still so far so good today hi Sagittarius Tuesday with five of Pentacles now this is something else this is very disappointing energy. This is you not feeling well, feeling poorly because of something, feeling poorly because you're not feeling well. You are kind of having headache, having flu or something. Let me pair it first. So five of cups. Oh, something very disappointing here. As much you were excited here on Monday, as much you disappointed here on Tuesday. <laughs> 
I don't know if it's the same thing or something else, but this is disappointment. Maybe you don't have enough money to execute your plans, okay? Everything administratively, okay? All preparations done and you are ready yourself, but uh, I mean, you don't have enough money to support it. You have to wait for the end of the month to get your salary and then you can do it. Maybe that sort of disappointment here, but could be something that stands is just on its own that on this day you don't feel good that you are sick maybe something chronic your sinuses you know something which you know seasonally comes allergy sinuses you know and it and it's nagging you today horribly something which you know that you have gives you a little bit of relief and it then comes back again and it seems today came back again and uh, um, yeah and your health isn't good today might be something like that but this isn't good day this tuesday is kind of a lucky day some disappointments definitely on your mind something from your past okay could be that on this day you're supposed to be with somebody somebody's supposed to help you with something you see what i'm saying because often five of pentacles is lacking support you know you don't have anybody around you to rely on to give you real support um, and maybe something was promised for this day and uh, that another one, another one or another few didn't deliver, didn't come to your aid. Uh, perhaps you needed some aid, you needed some financial aid or anyhow support you needed, you didn't receive it. And again, reminds you, okay, of that time when the very same situation happened. Okay, this isn't the first time that you were let down, that you are lacking money. This isn't the first time. That is the whole problem. This is kind of chronic disease. <laughs> um, sorry, um, this is not laughable matter, definitely. This is something which repeats itself and it's very disappointing. Again, when you need this money, it's not there. It's not available. Again, when you need people, they're not there and they're supposed to be. Again, something again on this day and you are very, very disappointed because of that again. Anyway, that's your Tuesday. Hi Capricorn. Tuesday with the full nice childlike energy exciting energy readiness to make big change readiness for this okay to take this big leap of faith to cross that threshold you see what i'm saying ready for it make the big change earn big money become rich go and live to another place to another part of the world make that big change in your career or so it's paired with the Empress. Now, look, let me first explore this, which is common denominator for these two, um, and it is future planes. Now, outer energy with the Fool shows a little bit impatience, okay? Shows immaturity, wanting to do that, talking about, perhaps because it's outer energy, perhaps you were talking, because you're confident, you know, you will, you made your decision and their decision is out, okay, for everybody to hear, and you were talking about that with excitement, okay, it's a huge thing, and you will, so and so, and it will be there and there, and, you know, excitement out there, talking, presenting, or just being, just feeling like that, uh, yourself showing yourself out there with that excitement like a child okay i will make i will relocate i will emigrate i'll make this big business or so now the empress as i said does have that common denominator plans for the future in a different way okay this is something which is patient okay it will be this what is um, planned this is what you are ready for. This is what you are certain you will. Okay? You will. Um, so excited about, but you will be doing it within some period of time. It's not going to be today. This is you, okay, showing excitement about what you're going to create. But this starting point will last. And with the, with the Empress, we can talk up to nine months. Okay? Empress is pregnant. So whatever that you are preparing now, 
to execute your, your decision. Only what you have is your decision that one want, the one idea, one thing is secured. You know, I will, I will. Now, within this period of time, okay, you will do that. That new business, that new career, that relocation, that emigration will be, a, that, that idea will be alive, okay, within the next nine months. So these are plans for your future, you are ready for it, you are waiting, you are preparing, you are patient, okay? All very loving here. You love this position, you love what you have right now. Your decision, people around you, your home, where you're heading, everything around you, everything what is happening now, you're loving it, okay? You think that you achieved something in your life and you can extend and you can expand and you can make it happier, more prosperous, you see what I'm saying? Saying that just that beautiful energy today, okay, besides, okay, being mother and child, really, because the Empress is mother, okay, and the fool is a child, okay, so we can also talk, you know, this Tuesday, like interaction, mother and child, grandmother and child, you know, but still, it's a very loving, happy environment, very lovely day for two of you, mother and child, discussing future or future for the child, future for the mother, but happily, happily looking into growth, okay, development, growth. This child is growing beautifully, intelligent, shows affinities towards something. You see what I'm saying? Like mother looking at the child planning future or so. Now, besides that, another thing with these two... <laughs> Um, a bit um, a bit tricky, okay, but I will say it anyway, just because we talk partnership here on Monday, Capricorn. If it is partnership in career, in a business, you're not supposed to have sex with this person because it will spoil the arrangements. It will mess up this arrangement. It will mess up this business or career. It can be dangerous in that way. So this very happy, very lovely energy might talk that you people are now not just business partners, okay? But um, this is um, not a relationship. This isn't a relationship. This is sex. So if you do that, you might be messing up with prior arrangement. Might cost you dearly, okay? sex with business partner okay it wouldn't be clever to do that it can interfere with otherwise great arrangement prior arrangement for your business career so i told you it's a bit tricky around <laughs> maybe we can stick with those positive stuff <laughs> anyway you're tuesday hey Aquarius. tuesday with queen of pentacles there is Taurus, maybe Capricorn, Virgo person out there, perhaps with Queen of Pentacles. Very solid business mind with the Wheel of Fortune. Now we can talk maybe business here with this energy. Okay, let me follow first this Monday. Um, perhaps your partner here, as I said, on from Monday, this love relationship which begins to form was previously okay, work relationship, maybe you studied with that person, maybe you work together with that person, maybe that person is your boss, you see what I'm saying, maybe you are the boss, but that situation perhaps now is changing, you are not colleagues at work anymore, you were in love now, okay, you were in a relationship now, um, so it might be something like that today for uh, you Aquarius and another one of course relationship is changing now it's not about the business anymore it's not just about working together now you people are together in love and life anyway uh, we can still talk business with this energy business mind business agreements um, some money received something accomplished related to your business okay something which is visible which is grounded we can talk that you grounded this relationship now you are sure about it because this is security safety security groundness knowing exactly what you are doing why this is good for you but this is now looking in the usefulness of the situation 
understanding why this is good for your life, for you personally, okay? Very practical, in fact, energy. Now, since two of you are together, oh, you can share one car so you can save some money. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, where I'm going with this. But anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune is changing something within this relationship with another, which was mostly business-oriented. Now it's going to be love oriented um, or you are changing something about your business okay how you earn your money where you work how you do it you see what i'm saying you're stabilizing some sort of situation around you i kind of feel it like that this wheel of fortune br simply brought that stability maybe just because you found somebody and you feel today stable finally i've got everything Finally, I've got work, I've got some income, I've got my flat, I've got my little car, and I've got person I love. I've got everything. Finally, you have it all. Might very well be something like that. But your feeling about change is definitely present here on Tuesday. And this change you will love, okay, somehow stabilizes your life, your relationship, your business in a way. And of course, you are loving it. You will be surely happy with this change. Oh, you are loving it, of course. Hi, Pisces. Tuesday strength. No, strength is something else. It's it's being strong, <laughs> all right, of course. Strength, your strength, your power to control some sort of situation, to control yourself, to control this, what is going on, to take it on the right path, okay? You've got your vision, you know it's supposed to happen, but you're just supposed to stay strong and keep it up all this way up until there at the end of the year when uh, things will begin to show up you see what i'm saying stay strong stay constant do not lose yourself in being overly excited or being disappointed or whichever way control your feelings strength energy controls you your feelings so you don't get lost in something which appears like exciting or bow wow you don't lose yourself you control yourself keep it steady keep it calm keep it controlled yeah let me pair it major arcana you have to pair it yeah keep it <laughs> keep it calm carry on carry on continue with that what is happening now with that what you do right now that job that employment carry on with that okay for another summer months, at least at the end of the year. Carry on, continue with that. Tie up loose ends. Don't lose that what you have achieved. Results will follow. Success will follow. Not within this period, okay, of several months. So just continue. Stay diligent. It's kind of, uh, it takes strength to continue with this. Because nine of wands is tired warrior, uh, wounded warrior, one which will not give up because it does have strength, it does have courage, will endure, okay, does have a willpower to endure, to complete, to bring it to an end, you see what I'm saying, to do what is needed to be done, what must be done, this is that what must be done and stay course, don't lose yourself, control yourself, you will bring it to an end and that's it. As I said, you need strength for this energy. It's kind of perfect combination because it's not something which you like. It's not something which you enjoy. This isn't enjoyable. This is just a must to finish, to complete, to do, to prove yourself, to something, you know, something which must be done. Otherwise, huge loss. You cannot stop now. You cannot change course now. You have to continue at least till the end of this year so continue this day is telling you that even if you don't feel like you kind of this one is sick and tired of doing the same thing but has to be done has to be completed so yeah that is kind of um mood in here must be done and you will be strong you'll stay coarse you'll be brave and you will go as long as you have to as long as you have to that's it you're Tuesday like that. 